Your Excellency, Mr. President, <clears throat> First Lady, uh, allow me to greet uh, all of you today here, uh, Ministers of Science and Education of the Republic of Croatia, Minister of Science and Education uh, of Spain, Minister of Economy of, uh, here in Croatia, uh, also some distinguished members of the scientific and business community, uh, Director of the Consortium IFMIF, leader of the Croatian Fusion Research Unit, director of the Croatian State Archives, where we are holding this uh, event, and all of you invited here this morning. Um, thank you for your words, Your Excellency. Uh, I also would like to, uh, first of all, thank you for your hospitality again. We really felt uh, a, a very warm welcome, uh, even though the weather wasn't that great. But, uh, and, and we also felt um, that there was a new future ahead of us uh, for cooperation between our countries, and this event represents so much of that. We are in a very symbolic place. Uh, I think it was a great idea to, to present this uh, event and, and um, agreement in this place, National Archives, but holds a lot of history of uh, culture, of uh, intellectual work, of research, of students working for their future. And um, it's certainly a place to reflect and to reflect on a very auspicious future represented by this uh, great event. Allow me to say a few words in Spanish <clears throat> for our colleagues in the press to also report to, back to Spain. Um, es uh, realmente un honor. Eh, compartir con vuestra excelencia, señor presidente, la inauguración de este foro científico y empresarial dedicado al proyecto IFMIF Dones, sobre todo teniendo en cuenta la importancia que tiene hoy en día el tema que aquí se va a tratar y debatir. Precisamente, uno de los principales retos de nuestro tiempo es la búsqueda de una producción de energía eficiente, limpia, fiable, y sostenible, capaz al fin y al cabo de cubrir nuestras necesidades actuales y futuras, una de las vías más prometedoras para hacer realidad esta aspiración es evidentemente la que ofrece la fusión nuclear. I now will carry on in, in English. The ambition and sheer complexity of this task requires a truly multinational effort. Particularly, the European Union has recognized the importance and the urgency of investing in research uh, of nuclear fusion, fusion and has been at the lead of the ITER project in which 35 countries participate with the objective to prove the feasibility of sustainable fusion reactions and obviously a net energy production. Furthermore, the establishment of what is called the Fusion for Energy a joint undertaking at the EU agency with the biggest budget, the support to the Eurofusion Consortium and the inclusion of the IFMIF Donis project in the roadmap of the European Strategy Forum on Research Infrastructures are an additional proof of this a strong European commitment. The support from the EU institutions is, of course, indispensable, but it requires also the involvement of other member states and other partners. That is why it is certainly an enormous source of pride for us today, precisely when we are laying the foundations of the magnificent project, the IFMIF Donors, to highlight such an ambitious and technologically advanced program as the hallmark of our bilateral cooperation with Croatia. In 2017, Spain and Croatia united their candidatures for hosting the IFMIF Donis facility, agreeing on Granada uh, as the ideal location. This facility will be a complementary project to the ITER um, and will focus on identifying, testing, and validating materials that can resist extreme temperatures 
and can be used in the future construction of a electricity producing fusion plant. This program is proof of the importance we both, Croatia and Spain, give to the research on viable, clean energy sources for the future. And at a bilateral level, it is a brilliant example of cooperation and partnership at its best between our two nations. The memorandum of understanding that our respective ministers will sign later today will lay the basis of the IMFIF uh, Donis project and perhaps serve as a model for the later agreements with additional participants. Let us not forget that although Spain and Croatia, together with the EU Commission, are giving this project its initial impulse, it is meant to be a multinational project open to all members of Fusion for Energy, as well as for other partners who have shared our path in the research of nuclear fusion. As it is often the case in scientific research, we should not measure the benefits and success of this endeavor solely by the achievement of its final objective, which of course remains uh, crucial. Along the way, the capacity to generate collateral innovation and technological developments applicable to other areas of science or industrial uses is also a very important measure to judge both the success and the cost effectiveness of such effort or investment. As a final remark, allow me to revisit the idea I expressed uh, at the outset, which in fact lies at the heart of this uh, Donis project. The challenges of today's world are immensely complex and truly global. Hence, we can only meet them effectively by gathering a truly collective effort, harnessing and sharing our knowledge and creativity and bringing together all of our resources. We trust that the IFMIF Donis project will represent a true and excellent showcase of this. I wish you a fruitful uh, discussion in today's forum and vow for the success of this project both the Republic of Croatia and the Kingdom of Spain are involved in and uh, will sign the MOU this morning. Thank you so much.